Hi, Johnny here, and welcome to Birdland. Every Sunday for the last two years, we have been bringing you the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra through a live stream. Without further ado, please welcome the orchestra.
My name is Arturo Farrell. I'm the founder and the artistic director of the Afro Latin Jazz Lines and the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra. And it is my privilege to welcome you to week 113 of Virtual Burden. That's amazing. 113 weeks of producing and presenting uh, this music that is so sacred to me Afro Latin music, Afro Latin culture. Um, it is such a privilege to invite you to be a part of that. And, uh, the piece you just heard was a piece by Miguel Blanco, the Spanish composer and arranger living in Madrid, and it's called En Tu Ausencia, featuring Brian Davis and Addison Evans. We're now going to go to a beautiful, beautiful piece, like just smoking uh, piece written by Sonny Bravo for Tipica 73. Um, I don't know, this piece just to me is so, so soulful. It's called Los Sitios Llaman.
Los Sitios Llaman, a crazy smoke and peace composed by Sunny Bravo and arranged by Antonio Santos, featuring myself and Addison Evans. This next piece um, was a piece I wrote, and I wrote to celebrate families, um, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. And it's a piece that um, we have the privilege of performing with uh, Chucho Valdez and his children in Havana uh, at the Plaza Jazz Festival. And we also had the privilege of recording this piece uh, on a record that we did with Chucho Valdez and his uh, progeny called Familia. This is Fathers and Sons, Mothers and Daughters.
Fathers and Sons, Mothers and Daughters, featuring Adam O'Farrell, myself, and Jasper Dutz. During the pandemic, um, Adam lived with me and Allison in uh, relative seclusion for months and months on end. And some of the most heart achingly beautiful music that I ever played was in the duress of that moment and the, the painful, painful reality that literally thousands of careers were being destroyed. Uh, and uh, a lot of people not only lost their lives, but um, those that didn't lost their freelance art uh, careers. And uh, I know Adam was freaking out about being a great young trumpet player and not having a future. Um, so we did the best we could and we recorded ourselves. And this is from that time period. We recorded a series of performances uh, for uh, John Schaefer and New Sounds. And um, this is one of those uh, recordings. Uh, this is called Blackbird by the Beatles.
Blackbird by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, performed by myself and Adam. On June 21st, at the General Grant Memorial in Morningside Heights, we'll be celebrating Pueblo Harlem. This is something we created at the Harlem School of the Arts, but has become a real staple of the Afroland Jazz Lions here. We'll be celebrating with the Afroland Jazz Orchestra, the Fat Cats, Mambembe, Samba, Reggae, and Kikiri Bigay. It'll be a celebration. Please, if you're in New York City, please look for this performance. It's not, it's not a performance. Forget about the word performance. It's an interaction. You're invited to participate. You're invited to dance. You're invited to sing. You're invited to participate fully. So if you're around Harlem on June 21st, please visit. Um, we've come to that point uh, where we need to thank some beautiful people who help us do this. Um, most of all, we thank those of you that are there every week watching this. That's actually at the top of the heap. You who are our participants, our guests, our invited, our beloved, our sacred, you're there week after week, and it is such a privilege to, to bring this show to you. And it would be impossible to bring it to you without an incredible group of people. My associate artistic director, the great Andrew Andron, our video and content editors, Brian Davis and Astrid Asmundson, and our incredible sound engineer, Peter Carl. The Afroland Jazz Alliance is headed towards an amazing moment. I haven't announced this, I don't think, on this show, but we are going to be participants in a building project, an affordable building project at the heart of Spanish Harlem. On 119th Street and Park, a building is going to be built called Timbali Terrace, but the first two floors. Affordable housing, people. Yo, New York City needs, desperately needs affordable housing. Uh, and that is such a beloved neighborhood. Spanish Harlem is the home of so many of our greats. The first two floors of that building will be the Afro-Latin Music Performance Arts Center. We will have a recital hall, classrooms, community rooms. We'll be having dance, music, food, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm very excited to announce that. And um, we want to take the time to thank people who have made that possible. Uh, we're headed by an incredible executive director named Marietta Ulasi. Our director of development is Andrea Thompson. Our director of programming and production is Eric Taller. Our director of educational programs is Zach O'Farrell. Our director of operations is Stefan Ande Mikhail. Our marketing and communications manager is Felipe Tristan. Our music administration manager is Andrew Andron. And our individual giving and boards relations associate is Isabel Rolston. Um, so many people to thank for this. Uh, we want to thank some of the most amazing. We just had the most incredible shows. We did two nights of Afro-Caribbean celebration. This was a joint concert sponsored by uh, Chelsea Factory, uh, National Sawdust, and the Afro-Latin Jazz Lions. And that's what I love, cooperation. But these musicians turned it out along with Emmeline Michelle and along with uh, Godwin Lewis and Yasser Tejeda. We put on the most incredible concerts of music of the Afro-Caribbean celebration. Uh, the orchestra that you just saw is Roman Filiu, Addison Evans, Alejandro Aviles, Ivan Renta, Jasper Dutz, and Larry Bustamante in our saxophone section. Our trombones, Rafi Malkiel, Mario Bilston, Abdul Rahman Amer, Ben Barnett, Earl McIntyre, and James Rogers. Our incredible trumpet section, Seneca Black, Brian Davis, Adam O'Farrell, Walter Cano, and Rachel Farian. Um, our rhythm section, myself on piano, Andrew Andron on piano, Bam Rodriguez on the bass, Sam Reese on the bass, Kaysel Jimenez on the congos, Carly Carlos Maldonado on percussion, Vince Jericho, and Zach O'Farrell on the drums. Before we take our leave, if you all want to recognize Johnny Valenti as a trustee of the music, in September, the afro Latin Jazz Orchestra will have been a part of Birdland history for 27 years. Even now, we physically perform at 8.30 and 10.30 at 3.15 West 44th in New York City in Birdland. But you can also catch us here on Virtual Birdland. Thank you, Johnny, for supporting, for being a true, true supporter and trustee of Afro-Latin music. Besides thanking you, I also want to ask you to be careful. Uh, the numbers are still there. They're rising in some places. And um, it's very simple. Uh, get tested, get vaxxed, get boosted. Wear a mask when appropriate. I was in the airport recently. And I was surprised at how many people wore masks and how many people didn't. Um, it's just simple courtesy, man. Walking around, you don't know what you might catch. You don't know what you might give. But it's just, it's just common sense. Care for one another. That's the most important thing. That's the only thing we have. So being aware of one another and getting each other through the finish line is the whole point of this, the whole point of being here for each other. Um, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your lives. It's the biggest privilege I have. Uh, 
We're going to close with a piece called Crazy City, written by uh, Chico Farrell, and will feature Yvonne Venter, Earl McIntyre, and Bam Rodriguez. Later, y'all.
We hope you've enjoyed this evening's performance. We look forward to having you back with us next Sunday. Just a reminder, the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra appears every Sunday at Birdland at 8.30 and 10.30. Till then, good night.